Hello again everyone, as usual, I'm Buff Button. Today we are back with another episode of Final Fantasy X. Now last episode we, uh, we crossed the moon flow, uh, finally met up again with Riku, and we got over here to Guado Salam, where, uh, I'm pretty sure Maester Seymour is from, because he's a Guado and everyone here is Guado, so yeah. Anyway, um, off camera I did do a little bit of grinding, not much though. Uh, mainly so we could try and, uh, help out Riku, because she was so freaking weak and she would die from, like, one hit from everything. So, I did level up everyone a little bit. Not too much, though. Um, so yeah, let's quickly talk to everyone here, because we never did yet. Oh, how fair you, Sir Guardian. It Don't need to be that so Mr. formal. Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. Okay, yeah, He's young, that's what I thought. But he deserves our respect. Are you saying young people don't deserve respect? What's your problem? Thank you so much for destroying that outbed contraption. Those heathens are despicable. I feel so relieved now. Why the frick does everyone hate the outbed? It's so dumb. And uh, actually, while editing uh, last episode, I now realize why Oren said open your eyes to Riku. Or I want to see your eyes. Because apparently the Elbed actually have different eye patterns. Like, all the normal humans that we know about have normal eye patterns, like the, the, the pupil, iris, all that. Apparently, um, uh, the Elbed, or at least Riku, at the very least, uh, I, I can't generalize all Elbed into this, uh, Riku, at the very least, has like swirl patterns in her eyes. So I'm assuming it's with Albed. Uh, all Albed. Care to hear about the far plane or the pyre flies? Sure, why not? Uh, let me uh, let me hear about both. Ahem. The far plane's the place where pyre flies, born from ascending, gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon. How I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the pyreflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the heart of the living. And that little bit borrows the Pyrefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say... Okay. Care to hear that? Um, tell me about the Pyreflies. Ahem. <clears throat> they may be called Pyreflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. They're those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the pyreflies doing. In fact, pyreflies have something to do with aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows. And that as they say... Interesting. Actually, I never talked to you yet. Uh, nah. Maybe later. What's up with you? Uh, let's see. We help the warrior monks patrol the road beyond. Uh, why wouldn't we? Uh, why wouldn't we do all we can for the good of Spira? Okay, I guess. All right. So let's continue and look around Guado Salam here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a um Elbed book. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the way out? Yeah, okay, please remain inside. Okay, so that's where we're supposed to go, so let's not go there just yet. Okay. Oh, and I just dropped my controller. Ooh, that's not good. Oh dear. Uh, alright, hold on a sec, you guys. Let me dry this thing off. I accidentally dropped into Grimm's water dish. Uh, I'm an idiot. Alright. 
hopefully it's all good. It seems to uh, work perfectly fine for now, but in the future, if this series comes to an abrupt end, um, you guys will know why, because I need to uh, try and save up money for a new controller. So, let's hope it doesn't come to that, though. I'm an idiot. And my headphones are messing up again. That's wonderful. There we go. Okay, so right away I'm not seeing any um, out bed books, unfortunately. Let's see more instructs Iguano youth on numerous uh, subjects. Thanks, Tim. I learned about Yevon's teaching, uh, teachings and the history of Spira. Uh, thou seems, uh, seems to weary, good traveler. Would thou sit and rest... Uh, the fee for a good while. Ah, uh, but like my speech perplexity. Uh, Tis old Guado I speak, a tongue seldom heard within even Guado Salam. Now, Grim, why the frick did you just run into the door? Okay, what's up with you? Good traveler, prithee forgive us our antique prattling. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing any books anywhere, unfortunately. The elders just won't give up the old tongue. Keep telling them how unseemly it is babbling like that to uh, babbling like that to the guests. Weird. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Anyway, let's get out of here since I'm not seeing anything anyway. No chests, no books, nothing. Yo, what's up? We guano protect the far plane so the dead can rest in peace. Hello? Okay, apparently this guy doesn't have anything to say. Hey, what's up to you? Never mind. Apparently nothing. This looks like a shop of some kind. Oh, freaking Awaka. Oh! <sighs> um, let's chat. I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Ripping off the pilgrims that come to visit the fire plane. Listen, you watch that they don't get you, too. Okay. Me, you can trust. Uh, More than a guado, at least. What? Wow. Well, let's see what kind of weapons he got. Uh, let's see. Oh! Well, that one's definitely better. I'll take that. Oh, this is for Riku. Okay, yeah, I can get that. That one will definitely work. Okay. I totally forgot about that. She taught us how to uh, customize stuff now. Okay, so... I mean, that one would be better for her for right now anyway, so might as well. Okay, let's sell anything that we don't need. Um, that's her original. I don't want to sell the original. Uh, she's wearing the Echo, so we don't need the Bright. So yeah, let's sell that. Yeah. Bracer, Hunter, Spear. I think that's his original, but I could be wrong. I think we might have sold his original. Nightmare. That sounds cool. But now, let's get rid of it. Scout, that's the original. Oh, wait. Is that? No, wait. Official Ball is the original. So let's get rid of this one then. Uh, soft ring. Um, actually, I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, let's see, silence ward. Uh, no, we have a better echo bangle. Albert. Huh. For some reason, now I'm thinking that one might be the original. I'll keep it just in case. A shimmering blade. Uh, I'll get rid of this one because we got a new one. A scout. Oh, we got another scout. Huh. No shock armlet. Um. Nah. Peepaw. Nah. Rule breaker. No. Peemog. No. Water Moomba. Moon ring. Didn't we technically pay, like, 10000 for this thing, though? I'm gonna keep that just in case. Okay, so that's about it, then. 
Um. Okay, so. Yeah, you have the Devastator and the Yellow Targe now. Gotcha. Oh, wait, can you. No, okay. I was hoping maybe the quality was good enough so you could see her, um, swirly eyes, but it's not good enough there. So what do you have, then? Uh, no. 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 Oh. Actually, yes. I will take that. Uh, no. Shimmering Blade. No, it's the exact same thing. Devastator, same thing. are all lightning wards. I mean, I suppose that would make sense, because it's right by the, uh, lightning planes, or whatever it's called. Um, Magical Moog? Yeah, that's what I wanted to get rid of. Okay, so that's it then. I don't see any books or chests that I can open. Although, I do see you. My husband has uh, long served as a guardian to the leaders of the Guado. These days, he accompanies uh, Lord Seymour all over Spira. Okay. Whatever. Okay, so what do we have over here? Oh, that just goes up and down. What about over here? There's gotta be something good in here, right? Maybe? Probably not? Hey, there's a chest, I see. You find it difficult telling us Guado apart, don't you? Yeah, not really. You all have different, um... I don't know if that's hair or if that's some kind of weird growth you guys have, but you guys have different hair colors, you guys have different facial features, different clothes. It's not that difficult. I suppose you think we all look the same. No, I, I just said I didn't. What, you think I'm racist? I love to step away from the Guado Glories and pay for a diff uh, play for a different team once in a while. Oh, you're you're part of uh, a Guado uh, Blitzball team? Interesting. Why, if they paid me enough, I'd even play for the Albed. You absolute dicks. Hey, there we go. I didn't even see that. Nice. Uh, as sole protectors of the Fireplane, us Guado are supreme. Uh, are the supreme race of Spira. Uh, we are fundamentally different from the Pipeless humans and the hulking Ronso. But that's an old story. Now the Guado seek harmony with other races. Okay. Whoo! 3,000. I'll take that. Say, you play for the Besaid Oryx. You're Titus, right? I saw you at the tournament. Let's blitz sometime. Nah, I'm good. Oh, those fiends are, uh, those fiends really made a mess. Some of my teammates were badly hurt. Sorry about that, bro. Okay. So how much of the uh, Elbed language do we know now? We're getting pretty good, aren't we? I wouldn't say, like, even close to half, but, I mean, we probably have a good, like, what, six or seven letters? Humans, humans, uh, summoner and her guardians. Oh, okay. I suppose you think we look odd, don't you? That's fine. We Guado are used to that sort of thing. Uh, since embracing Yevon, uh, we Guado have learned the joy that is Blitzball. So Blitzball is a holy sport now? Since when? Can I talk to you finally? It's called endurance training. Stay out of my way, dick. Now I present yourself to Lord Seymour before approaching the far plane. Okay, absolute dicks. Okay, so I think we're about done with checking out everything here. Let's quickly go save just in case, because I have no idea what could be coming. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you there. Mega potion. Meh. I don't even use potions too much. I mainly use Yuna so she can get um, XP in battle. Because, I mean, that's literally what she's there for. Okay, um, yes, I'm gonna save here. Just in case. I have now gone into the habit of making multiple saves because. Uh, games suck. Recordings suck. Everything sucks. Alright, apparently I gotta go see Mr. Seymour. It's up to you. I don't like the smell of this one, eh? Yeah, me neither. Especially with this creepy music. Uh, Trauma will be back shortly. Please be patient. 
These are Lord uh, Seymour's private chambers you may not enter. Okay then. Fine. What's this? Never mind, can't read it. Okay. Where's Lulu? Oh, there she is. I didn't even see her up there. Holy crap, I just ran straight past her. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Maester Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. Okay. What's up, Oren? Stay close to you. No. I wonder what smells so nice. Kimari not like Mr. S yeah, neither do I. Oh, uh, by the way, so last episode I was talking about voice actors and I included the, uh, was it last episode? Yeah, it was last episode. I also included the, uh, link to that, um, James Arnold Taylor, uh, impressionist, uh, uh, video I found online once. Um, I also talked about how, um, Tara Strong, Riku's voice actor, is the voice of a lot of people. I don't know how I didn't even think of this in the episode, but she also plays Raven and Terra from Teen Titans. And hearing Raven compared to... I wonder what smells so nice. You really cannot tell that they're the same person at all. It's so weird. Why does he want to see me? I don't know, maybe because you're a summoner? <laughs> God dang it. This way, please. This way, please. <laughs> God dang it, Yuna. You have so many freaking guardians. What is your problem? I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. Actually, yeah, I also tried to look up this guy's voice. I couldn't find his voice actor for some reason. It was kind of weird. What in the world was that? Just a hanging bottle? That's... What? Uh... Okay. Mm, this is good. Now I'm very confused. Oh, hello. Camera change. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? Why is that funny? I didn't even ask a question, and you're explaining oh. things. You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. <laughs> and maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin, too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Ooh. Your Xanarkind is one of those things. Ooh. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. She's finally Spira, coming around. Be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Yet here I am in a room full of people who know. <laughs> I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. Yeah, he's gonna kill us. Take our heads as a trophy. Guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. A lot of it. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Oh. How old are you, Orin? Kimari speak no more. Ah. What could it be? I don't know. Okay, so now I notice the hanging thing, or is that just the light? <laughs> Truly, it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, 
These halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a Guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough, Trommel. Must I always endure such praise? Those clones must be really heavy. Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady I really Yuna, don't like this way. guy. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkand? Correct. Xanarkand, as it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? His mother, maybe? Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin, as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone. To defeat the undefeatable Sin, it took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. What the heck was that about? And here we go with the creepy music again. Yeah. Just shut
shotgun that water. <laughs> wow, your face is beet red. You okay? About that, um, we got a problem. He... he asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna, no, all summoners, are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. I don't need to think it over. The answer is no, dickbag. We'll do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Oh, come on, don't guilt her into saying it, you absolute dick. Why are you still here, sir? We're just leaving. I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. <laughs> I don't know, it just smells like uh, Axe body spray to me. <laughs> you know, actually, <laughs> now that I think about it, if they were to ever make some kind of, like, live-action, like, remastered version of this game with, like, real actors or some kind of movie or something like that out of this, I feel like Robert Downey Jr. would play a great Orin. <laughs> Just a random thought out there. Okay, so he's talking about the fire plane. Does that mean we have to actually go to the fire plane now? If I'm not mistaken, that was the thing up here, right? Okay, apparently not. Where the frick do we go then? Oh, hello. I did not know you were there. Oh, an elixir. Pfft. Okay, so what the heck do I do? Oh. You, well, here we go. the High Summoner's daughter, Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? Yes, actually. What? Shut up. No way. We gotta defeat sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my serious? getting married would help Spira? It wouldn't, it though. This is all for him. If I could do that for people... He's a manipulative dickbag. I never imagined doing anything like this. But I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. No, she can't. I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. <sighs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. There we go. Now we have to go there. Think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. And here's I where asked... why none of the oh. others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? I was gonna say this is where I ask him, uh, ask her. Wait, see your father? Isn't he dead? Oh, you get to see your father, and then they're all just like, ah. Do we really have to explain this to him? Anyway, 
Uh, so yeah, we're pretty much out of time for this episode, so I'm gonna have to cut it there. Right here, there we go. So I'm gonna have to cut it here. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this episode, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, where we will travel off to the Far Plane, talk to Lord Broska, apparently, and who knows what else. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and have yourselves a great day, then. Goodbye.